Hello everyone, it is Rose and Quartz here and welcome to another speed build by yours truly. So today we are continuing on with the bed and breakfast uh, hotel type thing. <laughs> so right now this entire video is going to be the interior and then it's about like I think like five minutes of screenshots. It's pretty insane. But I feel like whenever I do these big builds, um, it's totally worth it to like split these up into two different segments just because it's nice as like a builder to be able to watch other people and see their kind of different techniques and also sometimes people just prefer to watch just the interiors or just watch the outside so this is kind of a, like a nice like happy medium also I get to spend a little bit more time just sort of um, talking with you guys and um, kind of just showing off my builds and um, also, I really like doing a lot of screenshots just because it's always nice in case you're one of those people who just likes to skip all the way to the end and just see the inside. <laughs> but um, yeah, so uh, what I was trying to really go for with uh, the inside of this this build was sort of that like home kind of feeling, but at the exact same time, there's a lot of like quirkiness, you know, because um, I've never been to a bed and breakfast, but I like in my imagination, or at least from what I think I know about bed and breakfasts, is that there's sort of like um, a little bit of a quirkiness to them, you know? A, like, um, I don't mean to be like, kind of like Stanley Kubrick, like this kind of stuff, like, you, like, you know, like the shining, like how there's always like the different colors and everything like that. That's kind of what I was going for <laughs> with this build, but a little bit more softer and a little less the shining. So, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so there are four bedrooms in this house. There is um, sort of like the dining room that you just saw being finished up, a little bit of a seating area just in the hallway before you go outside into the pool area, and then um, to the right of the seating area that you just saw, that is sort of like the hotel, like... It's like a it's like a break room, but not really, um, if that makes any sense. It's sort of like um, like you can probably go there, but it leads to more like um, manager kind of areas, and it's sort of I don't know how to explain it, <laughs> but um, yeah, there's a lot of these like little it, like in between kind of spaces, and I feel like they're a little little bit of wasted space, but um. There wasn't a lot of room. Well, well, actually, no, that's a lie. There was a lot of rooms that I actually did want to do. Like, I did want to have, like, a whole entire, like, spa in here as well. But I figured, you know what, it would be too much. This build is already getting really long. And I think by the time I got to the third floor, I was just tired. <laughs> it was, like, sometimes it's just tiring doing, like, interiors. I don't mind, like, I can spend hours doing the, um exterior of a build but when it comes to like interiors sometimes it's just sometimes you've just done four bathrooms and then you're like man I can't do any more bathrooms <laughs> like but um yeah I did pretty much all of this in um sort of one sitting like um I think it was all done throughout a period of a day but it was very like scattered throughout the day so I had a little bit of time to rest but I think I did most of the interior all in one shot um with the exception I think I took like five or ten minute breaks to like go and like go outside and take my dog out or you know that sort of thing but um yeah so we're working on the actually like the kitchen and stuff like that and um oh the best part okay <laughs> I'm, a little, I'm a little distracted today but um yeah, the best part about this kind of build is that it actually works. I, 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 I'm actually kind of surprised by it because I, I don't know why, but <laughs> I just, I couldn't believe the fact that it actually worked because, um, I took, um, I think maybe like, uh, like an NPC, um, base game, like, um, family and what I did is I just sort of like checked them in the house and I let them kind of do their own thing just to see how like um as I took screenshots they're kind of doing their stuff and um I and I'm kind of monitoring like what the sims do and like how everything happens so basically this is how the this bed and breakfast works so they all come into the um like the manager's office really nicely. It's really nice because they all sit and file down into the seats and um, they all just sort of like the host stands there and there's just kind of some like there'll be a weirdo that's sitting at the computer who like some sort of random who just comes in and sits at the computer. But <laughs> it, it all like 
if it starts out fine and um the next part is where it gets kind of weird so basically if you're like using a hotel obviously your room is your room and there's no way to lock rooms I don't think so I remember the last time I played there wasn't a way to like lock rooms so um unless I'm just crazy because sometimes I think like I might be getting confused with the Sims um, 3 which is not a surprise <laughs> but um, basically what happens is um, because there's a lot of seating around um, the house like people will just go into rooms and they'll just sit there so um, basically everyone goes to the green room which is the what I would call the more expensive room because it's the bigger room and um, and there's a lot of seating so that's probably why and um, they all just sort of hang out there but it's really neat because um, actually the all the waiters they go up the stairs and they serve you in your rooms and it actually looks really cool like I actually like am kind of impressed by it um, even though I think if you wanted to use this house as like a restaurant um, you will be in your room and there'll be some sort of random who just sits in your room and <laughs> they'll just start eating and you can't like I, I don't think there's a way to force them out but yeah that's basically what happens and um, it's a little bit difficult to um, like send them to like send sims to bed and that kind of stuff um, it was like I know that I was trying to um, you know when their energy gets low well I tried to send them to bed but they kind of didn't want to go to bed they just want to keep sitting at their table so it was a little weird that way um so it was kind of hard to like let them like move around the space really well um but otherwise in the aspect of like role playing and um it actually works really nicely with the food kind of coming in and uh yeah so I, I i wanted to share that with you guys because um it was sort of interesting playing it i think um if you did use this i would do like a combination of um restaurant and regular residential house so um if you're just going here for a visit for the weekend you can totally like role play and pretend that a room is yours but i think that um you will have randoms just sort of come into your room and just sit there or like come into your room and watch tv and it's really weird but <laughs> but um yeah i thought i would kind of share that because it's, it's a little bit fun and um i think that if you wanted to come to this house um with like maybe like a group of eight or something like that um just as a vacation as a residential house i think that would be pretty cool too so i think there's multiple ways that you can work it and um yeah <laughs> so right now i'm working on the pink room first so this is what i would call um Okay, you know how I was saying with I wanted that sort of Stanley Kubrick like ask vibe. Well, this is how I kind of did it. So you know you have your pink room, which is this room right here. Then you have the next room, which is the yellow room, which I think you saw me wallpaper. Then there's the blue room, which is on the third floor. I almost said fourth floor, but it's the third floor. And then you've got the green room. So basically, uh yeah <laughs> so basically there's different like levels of different kinds of rooms and what you'd like for example the pink room has a really crappy bathroom like it's this like skinny long thing and I have no idea if it actually works but <laughs> um, there's that and then I oh a totally like tiny thing but um, there's actually you know how I was putting those little lights outside of the doors well that's supposed to like mimic like um, uh, ha like what do you call it? the key card thing you know how you insert um, the card to enter the hotel room and it unlocks well that's kind of what it's supposed to mimic and yeah <laughs> but um yeah so I think this house is uh, pretty cute just because in the way that I was really having fun just sort of making these like different kind of different colored rooms and stuff like that um, just because I really wanted to go very like um, quiche with it you know and um, or like kitschy I think like people say like either ki kitsch or kitschy. Um, I mean cliche, but um, you know how like you ever meet people. I I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm like ex art student. I, like everyone tells me that like you're supposed to pronounce like cliche as like kitsch or something like that. And I don't know. I'm taking German for fun, and I'm like that's just the German word for for cliche apparently. I could be wrong. I could be pronouncing it the, a very, like, westernized way, too. So, <laughs> don't get, like, that's probably what's happening. But, um, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so, like, all over the place today. Like, I, I don't even know what is kind of, like, going on. Like, 
Uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> but um, right now we're working on the yellow room here, and I really tried to stay away from doing like like a bumblebee kind of room. Like I really didn't want to go to like yellow and black. I tried to use a lot of white to keep it kind of bright. Um, I think this is one of my like my more creative rooms. I think I like kind of went all out and did a little bit. Um, was a little creative with this one, and then um. When it came to, like, the other rooms, I got really, really tired, and <laughs> I was pretty much just like, okay, we're, we're done now, like, I'm, I'm tired, this isn't gonna, like, this just doesn't work. <laughs> so, yeah, um, basically, like, kind of what I wanted with this room is, like, there is a little bit of a bubble be, be blah 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 a bumblebee vibe with a black and yellow kind of um dressers and stuff like that but i really tried to tone it down by doing a lot of whites and cream colors and stuff like that and that's why i also have um like a pink bed as well just to keep things a little bit neutral also totally random thing <laughs> okay so when i did screenshots for this room i remember like posting on twitter and i was like man i don't remember making the curtains like a dark navy blue and now that i'm looking at this i'm going Okay, my curtains are totally white. <laughs> like, okay, X Files music like starting right now. Like, do we? Okay, <laughs> but um, I have no idea what happened there. Maybe it's just one of those like glitchy things where you know how like walls will go completely black and stuff like that. That's probably what happened um with those curtains just because of maybe it was a weird thing with the lighting but yeah I remember doing white and that's why I was so confused because I was like I don't remember those curtains being like a navy blue and like my um like my friends were being like oh no it looks nice though and I'm just like but you don't understand though <laughs> I remember it looking like this and so now that I'm actually looking at the footage now I'm going oh okay so that was just a weird like glitchy thing so if you did want to download this house feel free to change it to like a navy blue actually no there is no navy blue for those curtains just because the curtains are like different patterns and stuff like that but yeah no that's so weird i i don't remember uh, so bizarre <laughs> but um here we're now working on the next room which is the blue room Ooh, i know and um this one's got more of a neutral palette. It's very, like, again, white and blue. At this point, I was starting to get, like, pretty tired, and I was like, these rooms are just kind of, like... Like, I wanted them to be detailed, but at the exact same time, I was like... I was like, I don't wanna really want to do interior anymore. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, so there's, like, kind of, like, a... You know, each room has its sort of like level up and like next step. Um, I think the green room is the only one that kind of like the blue and the green room is kind of debatable depending on who, kind of what you're looking at. Like um, the green room, I consider the more expensive one simply because of the fact that you have that veranda off the side. But the blue room is kind of the one that has like the fireplace and it has the big screen TV, you know, and um, the green room there's a lot of like there's a lot of seating and stuff like that and it's you know it's got a smaller tv and stuff like that and um the bed's not the first thing you see when you walk in and that kind of stuff but um yeah i think it's all kind of like relative on what you think is like the more expensive one and like i said before i think in like my uh, last part i said something along the lines of like um if you're role playing what you can do is you can just uh take a amount of like simoleons off of your own um you know how you can like remove simoleons from your family cash thing <laughs> and that's how i how i would simulate renting a room because i know that you can do it with um with like the camp kind of thing but um i know you can do something similar with like um like the campgrounds but i'm pretty sure you can only rent them out on the campgrounds i'm pretty sure i don't know i haven't actually played too much with the um the outdoor retreat pack to be honest like um i got the outdoor retreat um pack like around the time that i was really into building so i haven't really played with it all that much um as like um a regular player but yeah <laughs> so 
Yeah, so right now we're just finishing up the green room and we're also now nearing the end where the screenshots are and the rest is just going to be all screenshots. So feel free to like it, um, like this video and subscribe to my channel. I would I'd really appreciate it. And I'd also like to say thank you for the 20 subscribers now, which is really exciting. I'm really happy that we've gotten this far. Um, far for me. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't even think that I would get 20 subscribers. So... <laughs> Um, I'm pretty happy about it. I also have um, other places where you can find me as well, which is um, my Twitter, which I'm fairly active. And so you can, if you ever want to message me, um, that's the number one way that you can get in contact with me. I also have a Tumblr. I also have a Sims Amino. I also have a, an Instagram, and all of that is in the description below. And so if you'd like to just follow, if you'd like to follow me there, or if you'd like to just see kind of what I'm up to, those are the places to go and find it and um another thing too is feel free to leave a comment if you like this build and also as i've said before multiple times you um i love seeing comments and if you guys have any sort of like suggestions of next builds because i'm not like i have ideas but i don't like a lot of people are very like a lot more creative than i am and come up with things that i just don't even think of so if you do have any ideas then feel free to message me and i would love the challenge to be able to come up with it and yeah. <laughs> so right now I'm just finishing off uh, the veranda here and um, this is pretty much where everyone like conjugates so it's like everyone just comes to this space for whatever reason. I don't particularly know why but they do. <laughs> but um, yeah I really hope that you guys enjoyed this build and I know it was a long two parts but um, I hope that it was worth it for you guys. So I will talk to you guys later and see you guys in my next build. So goodbye everyone.